What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Troop coming to you live and direct from the Battle Troop headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. I told y'all, man, it appears that they're going to start attacking more charges on, on surf. I know when you first get arrested and they put charges on you because they have to do that to detain you, to hold you over without violating your rights. You have to be charged with something within a 48-hour, 72-hour uh, time to be charged. And it appears that surf may be facing even more charges. Why do I say this? Again, we got new documentations on surf. And when you look at the paperwork, these feds ain't cutting no slack for them in no type of way. They have they have a lot of other things that's being said in the paperwork that's not being said, but that is being said. It is being said without being said. Because remember, this is in the beginning. They're not exposing their full hand because they need something to fight with. They need something to bargain with. They need to put the squeeze on you. So they give them some charges, then they hold back some to see what they can get out of you. And if you're not playing fair and you ain't playing right, according to their rules or how they seem, feel fit, you know what they do? Okay, we got these other charges we could put on you too. That's the same thing they did with me, man. When I got arrested and I got locked up, they charged me with the... um. They charged me with the four charges. Then they had two more other charges that um, that they was holding back. I didn't know nothing about it till it was time for me to go to trial. When I was like, okay, I'm going to fight them. I'm going to go to trial. And before going to trial, I told my lawyer, you know, I'm going to trial, you know. And he said... Well, the district attorney just hit me with two more charges. Are you aware of these charges? And he showed me the paperwork. He showed me everything. I'm reading it and everything. Detail, graphic detail, point by point. I'm like, damn, I do remember that. He like, they saying if you don't take the plea, they're going to tack on these other two charges too. I was like, man. Say, man, come on with the plea. I already knew. I already knew I was guilty. I'm, I'm reading it. I know about it. Not including the ones I'm fighting now. It appears it's the same thing that they got in line for serve. They got other things on them. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So on page 11 of these new documentations uh, that released on surf, on page 11, it speaks about a murder that happened and took place dealing with a guy named Elijah Williams. This is what it's saying about surf. Pay attention. It said in July 2020, matter of fact, let me let y'all see this because I'm reading it off my computer. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm reading it off my computer. I just want to make sure y'all can see this. Okay, hold on. Okay, this one I'm reading now. Page 11. Let's see if it'll flip over if I do it this way. Yep, this one I'm reading now. I'm reading right here. Oh, I'm going to let y'all see this. It's what I'm finna read to y'all right now. Look at what it says. Uh, indeed, in July 2020, approximately four months after co-defendant Elijah Williams fatally shot a gang rival. I mean, he killed him. As detailed in overt acts. Killed through DD. 
on count one of the superseding indictment. So these are ongoing indictments. It's building up more and more and more and more. The more they investigate, the more they look into this, the longer they sit on it, the more people is now getting involved. It's a superseding indictment. It said this, on count one of the superseding indictment, and then began spending large periods of time outside of the district of New Jersey. Cox, surf, reached out to Williams to offer his assistance, including a getaway. So surf reached out to the guy who was on the run for murdering and killing somebody. They saying he knew that this dude murdered and killed somebody because he's a part of the same gang with him. And Surf reached out to him. They said Surf reached out to him to offer his assistance, including a getaway. Now, that, now that's against the law. That's called harboring a, 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 a fugitive, aiding and abetting a fugitive also. And they can add another one with that. Which we know this is what they're doing because this is why they're presenting it to the court. they saying his other involvements and things. Look what it says, though. Then they put up their text messages. So Surf, they saying Surf knew this guy murdered somebody. Surf knew this guy was on a run. Surf took it upon himself with the knowledge of knowing it to personally reach out to him to offer his assistance, aiding in a getaway to harbor him as a few fugitive on the run for murder. Watch this. They go into the text message conversation. This is what Sir said to him. What's up? Question mark. Talk to me. Question mark. You keeping your head above water? Question mark. Question mark. You straight? Is your pocket straight? Do you need a getaway? Do you need a getaway? What's up? Uh, then the guy responds. I'm in Florida right now on a little vacation with my fam and, and stuff. But yeah, I'm out the way. And right now, I'm out the way. And yeah, I'm on the run right now. This is due response to Surf. So he's confirming what Surf is asking. So there's no way Surf cannot say that wasn't what he was meaning. When he asked him this, because the guy answered back, I'm in Florida right now on a little vacation with my family and stuff. But yeah, I'm out. The, but yeah, I'm out the way. Hold on. But yeah, I'm out the way right now. But yeah, you could send me a little pocket money. But how you been? You straight? See? So the guy's confirming what they saying Surf was doing. So they got Surf message, the guy message, and that's just right now. That's just, they only gave that little to hold him over to continue to be detained. They ain't give everything that's going to come out in trial if Surf decide to go to trial. They just giving a little to the bonds person to actually be enough to hold Surf over. You know, these conversations go deeper than that. And this is how you know they're going to try to hit surf with other charges because all those are crimes too. All those are crimes too. They just said for right now, while we still getting a lot of this together, just hit him with these two. Hit him with the convicted felon with a firearm. Hit him with the marijuana and Molly right now. But we got other stuff we can get him on. Notice, they ain't got him with the change of making the firearm deals. They got them just with possession of the firearms. They ain't got them on the conversation, the, the bit that he was doing with the dude now. And here's some more. 
So yeah, this 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 is real ugly right here. And I wouldn't doubt when I know how the system work, when I know how these people work, and that's how they got they got this in here literally telling you we're going to put these on him too. That look, when you look at how they got this, it's 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 in quotations. It says not only did he reach out to William to offer his assistance, including a getaway. So that's right there telling you that they knew what he purposely was doing. Let me show you. Let me open this up. Look at how they wrote getaway. It's what they wrote in the thing. Look how they wrote it. He offered them a getaway in quotations. In big bold quotations. Look. Including a getaway. That's them saying they're going to charge him. Make no mistake about it. That's what that is. See, it's like poker. It's like poker. You know, like poker, you get five cards. But in this case, it's cases. You got five cases on them. You want poker, you deal out there. You look. You keep what you want, and you throw back what you don't want. So it did. they got five to play with. Give them these two. We're going to hold back these three. We're going to give them those two. We're going to see how he panicked. We're going to see who he reached out to. We're going to see who he calling for aid. We're going to see once he's looking at what they got him with. Because, see, that's what they do. They monitor. They, they, the investigation don't stop because you locked up. They're investigating you even while you is locked up. The investigation don't never stop. Just because you arrested and now you locked up in the county or it, you ain't, the investigation ain't over. It's ongoing while you in there. In fact, it's even more stronger now because guess what? They trying to see who they left out, who they didn't get. And now you re see when you locked up, now you're reaching out to your lifelines. They seeing who really important, who you reach out to that really up important to you when everything hit the fan, who you really got in your corner that they probably ain't, they ain't got. So they watching like, okay, let's see who he called for help. Yeah, hello? Hey, what Mike at? Uh hey, let Mike know they got me. So they watching. Typing. Mike? Who is Mike? Oh, we ain't got Mike. Oh, Mike don't. Mike don't be in the streets. Mike's. Because they know most bosses, they play the sideline. They ain't out in the front line. They hidden behind the scenes. But they know you know them. Oh, there he go. We got him. We got him. That's how that works. Yep. That's why I tell you, brother, man, leave that trash alone. Understand, you already rich with your family, your children, the life that God gave you, trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You already rich. A lot of people just don't see it. They overlook the thing. Y'all already rich. You already successful. Be content in your family. Be content in your family. Be content with the woman you with that you wake up to every day. Be happy, be content, be blessed, treat her right. Count your blessings. Stop going after this false wealth. See how these brothers, look, look, no, no disrespect to search, but let's keep it real. Before he got locked up, bragging about all his jewelry and all his watches and how much he got in his bank account and everything. Now look what happens. He ended up bragging about potato chips and snicker bars and soups. Sardine cans. See how you go. See how you go from that to that. That's why you never make fun of people. The same people you laugh at going up, you meet coming right back down. You never know what life gonna throw at you, especially when you're not flying right. Now look at that. Take that as an example. Now all that's gone. Now he walking around in a t-shirt and county suit with a rag on his head. No more designer. 
No more none of that stuff. Now you just in a room full of nothing but niggas jacking about how y'all used to have it. Right. Right. Man, people, take advantage of your freedom. Take advantage of your freedom while you got it right now, man. For real. Take advantage of your freedom while you got it right now. And it's your boy Battle Truth. If it ain't my judgment, that's some question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.